hi lovelies how you all doing in today's tutorial i'll be showing us how i cut and sew this beautiful flutter sleeve it's just like a flare sleeve but there's a little bit different i think i will choose this one over a flare sleeve now let's go ahead and cut this sleeve so this is the fabric i'm going to use it's not really a long one it's just about 19 inches length and 19 inches width so if you're making yours i will advise you have something like 24 inches so that at the end of the day your sleeve will be like 12 inches long this my own is short is because the material is not big enough so all you need is just a square length times sweet so both of them has to be the same length so you can see i'm folding it twice so after folding it i have about four layers so where my left hand is is the folded part the length times sweet the way it is now is just both sides are the folded side, so that's where you take your measurement from. Now I will go ahead and take my sleeve length. I will take it round. What I have here is about nine and a half inches. So I will take it all round from the folded part, from the two folded parts. If you're making this sleeve you can add it peplum gum or crinoline it will come out very fine but here I'm not even I did not even add hasty I only added lining so it will make it to stand well so the next thing I will do is to cut it out So after cutting it, I will now open it. So this is it. So the next thing I will do is to locate the middle. Look at the middle parts. So now my total measurement is just about 18 inches. So I'm going to divide 18 into 2. That's the middle there. So from there, I will now take my armhole measurement. I'm taking it from that part, from my right hand part. That place will now be my armhole. So from there, I will take my armhole measurement. You know, it's folded it into two. So the part where my tape is will be at the underarm. Why this other side now will be the shoulder part. So from, from the middle, I will go up by 2 inches, you can see, I want a guard around the shoulder area. So I'm taking 2 inches, then from there I will now connect it to the armhole, connect it to the armhole area. That is the place I will attach to the body of the dress so i'm going to cut out this measured area and that will be the armhole so i will go ahead and cut it out So this is what it looks like. Can you see it? So this upper side, that that is the two inches. I'm going to gather that part. So this is 
I'm using this satin satin fabrics as a lining so I'll fold it I will cut exactly like this So this is it. So I will now place the arm um, hole, the the lining on top, right side facing right side. Then I will go to my machine and sew it round. So I've done that. I've stitched it together. Sorry. I stitched it together before I did the gathering. Can you see what it looks like? It's very, very simple. Very easy to achieve. See? I've got that side. Please, anytime you're making this kind of sleeve, make sure you attach it from the downside so that in case there is any SX, then you can pleat it around the shoulder area. Attach your sleeve from the down part, please. So guys, here comes to the end of our today's tutorial. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so very much. Thank you for all you do. God bless you.